to do as a captain at this point? No good blaming anyone. No, that's not Jordan. Um, you know, it's a tough interview for him. He's hurting. Um, he'll be numb, and it'll take a long time for him to recover. You know, I've won one and lost one, and you don't you don't remember the ones that you lose. Um, it's, it's it's a tough interview to do that for him. I've done it myself, and. Um, you know, he doesn't want to point fingers at his goalkeeper, of course he doesn't, but at the end of the day, there's no getting away from it. They, them two mistakes have been pivotal tonight in terms of the result. Liverpool played well tonight, played really well, they created chances. Um, the, the opening uh, first 15, 20 minutes, they were excellent. Madrid couldn't get out, they were pressing the ball all over the place. Losing Salah had a psychological effect on every Liverpool player. Um, and then, you know, Madrid came really into the game from there. Yeah. The, the Salah thing, there's no question, that's a significant blow. I mean, he's, is your main man, is your goal scorer, he's been so heroic this season. This was, I mean, this was so sad to see. Yeah, I mean, terribly sad, and it, and it, and it affected them in all senses. It, the, the Liverpool went down mentally, Real Madrid obviously go up because the best player against them was off the pitch, and, and tactically in the way the game was developing, they were so scared of the threats Liverpool had up front, and Mo Salah particularly was getting in those typical areas, running behind people, getting the ball around the box. Now, when you take that away out of the team, everything changes, and, and personally, who's had an incredible season um, and now we're looking forward to a World Cup. For that to happen at that moment, it's just horrible for him. Ramos amused there. I mean, we can't be quite sure what's going on there. He was mildly irritating at other times in the match as well. Uh, Ramos, extraordinarily good player that he is, but he can be like that. But it's a, for, for Mo Salah, for Liverpool and possibly for Egypt, let's hope he... It, I mean, he suspected dislocated shoulder, which yeah. is a painful injury and a if, difficult if, injury to recover from. If that is the injury, then he won't be going to the World Cup, I'm afraid. Which but so it was sad. devastating for his country, yes. He's been an inspiration yeah. for people across the world, the way he's performed here. But you have to say that the, the mistakes have been the costly thing here, and it is, it is a shame to have to, to harp on about that, but it's a Here's fact the of the matter. Here's which is, is, is actually probably the most... Amazing of all of them. What was going through his mind at this point is hard to know. Yeah, and these games, they're decided on, on big moments, on concentration plays a big part in games, and that is just a lack of concentration. It is, it's borderline stupidity, really, yeah. to be throwing that through someone. We spoke before the game, didn't we, about experience and know-how and the stage and the Madrid players obviously being a lot more switched on and experienced in terms of Liverpool, and that's a, that's a moment that we, we, we talk about, you know, to keep it in a rush. It's a rush of a blood to the head, and he, all you need to do there is just stay calm. Just stay calm, and he's obviously made the mistake of being punished for it. He certainly has, and then you thought that's going to be really difficult for Liverpool, but, but, but they bounced back. They got themselves back into the game um, with Mane scoring an equaliser. They did. And we kept, we kept saying here, look, get balls in the box. You know, this is a corner, obviously, but we really don't like defending balls in the box, and it's the second ball that obviously does it for them here. Get a good header back into the area, and then it's how bright and how alive are you. Mane's bright and everybody. The Madrid defenders are quite static. Um, and, that, and actually, that was brilliant for Liverpool. To, to go down to a mistake like that is very hard to come back. They, they put something into the game, they got back to 1-1, and that, at that point, they are right back in it. Yeah. Uh, what you can't legislate for is, the, is genius. And we've, we've seen a lot of amazing goals this season. He's, I think Bale might have out ronaldo Ronaldo. This is the best. You, like, you, you I think keep so? saying he had no right to jump up and think that he's going to actually kick the ball and hit the back of the net. Came on a substitute, he comes on. Dan's done it again. The bench was a big part to play today. And how dare you? Like, it's, not, it's illegal what he's just done there. Like, he should, <laughs> it's like he's going away from goal, the height he gets up. And the connection, it's not a fish in, like Rooney's against, yeah. against Man City. This is the best goal I've ever seen in, like, a million, in a Champions League it? final on this it's stage. One in a million. I mean, it's ex you couldn't it's, agree it's, that. It's incredible. I mean, I, I wouldn't even try that. No, I wouldn't no, even try that. I'd have gone off on a stretcher. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, like, the Ronaldo one recently, it was technically beautiful with a straight leg yeah. and everything. It was beautiful. It was, you could watch it time and time again. This one, because his, his body shape isn't right, he's not set. Zizou, yeah. He's never set, but he still yeah. manages to get in the perfect position and make the perfect do you know, contact. Do you know what? We, had, we had a poll, didn't we, recently, in a little competition about the best goal in Champions League history. We were premature. Mm. We should have saved it till tonight because I think we might have had a winner. I think that beats Zidane's. Yeah. The one thing we said about Zidane's was he's in a Champions League final, so he has to win. Yeah, yeah. But that's better, isn't it? The dance was great, to be fair. Come out of the sky on his left foot technique, but that one there, we were sat edge, gobsmacked. The whole place almost, well, other than the, the Madrid fans, it yeah. was silent. We were sitting there going, what the... It yeah. stunned the stadium. Yeah. It's crazy. Really stunned it was a the privilege, stadium. wasn't it? It was a privilege, yeah, was. the whole of the thing. Whether you know Steve, he's obviously wanting Liverpool to win that, but when you see a moment of that quality, uh, you're privileged to be in the when building. When we see a moment of that quality, I think we should see it again. I want to see it. Well, let's see have it a look. I don't think you can tie it seeing him this. I mean, it's... 
I mean, obviously, if you're a Liverpool fan, it's, it's, it's dreadful to watch, but as a football fan, this was something truly very, very special. There'll be kids that say, I was here when I saw this goal from Gareth Bale. They'll remember the moment, they'll remember the time where they were sitting. Unbelievable. Wow. Keeper can't do anything. He couldn't have done anything about that. The other two he could have. It actually one, doesn't could've. look possible to do what he did, does it? The ball was going too fast, it was kind of low and it was That's away from him. This is the thing, the spin on the ball, the height for the ball, yeah. the fact that he's going away from goal. Um, I mean, he's, it's, it's Rio sort of said, as it happened, like, you've got no right, it's audacious to the point of, like, this is a Champions League final, you can't be trying to that. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's about. Yeah. It makes people just jump out of their seat and do things that you would never normally see him do. Moments like that. That's why football is such a pleasure to I mean, be around. Klopp has a bit of a smile. Yeah. And here is uh, that goal against Leverkusen, wasn't it, in 2002? This is this technique's ridiculous. This is, out this... of the skies, out of the heavens. He's looked at the keeper, seen where he is, and said, "Have that." That's a great goal, but Gareth Bales is better yeah. than me. Yeah, I it agree. Is. It's an amazing goal. A bit shinny. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a great, obviously, it's a goal that we all recognise. We've just seen another goal today that we'll see a million times a game. And there you go, there's Bales again. What was great about this game is that it didn't disappoint. There was there's big a moments. Celebra yeah, watch celebration. This is Ronaldo's, and watch um, Zidane's celebrations, quite similar. No, I mean, that's a great goal. Actually, Bales is better. <laughs> <laughs> he loves that head rub, doesn't he? Yeah. I mean, what do you think? Best you've seen? Yeah. Yeah. And obviously, obviously being here as well, you yeah. know, seeing it live, yeah. it was an unbelievable goal. I'm still in shock from it now. Yeah. I think we're all still in shock from the third one as well. Gareth Bale's second goal, Real Madrid's third. The game was getting stretched at this point. And um, again, Bale's come on, obviously, confidence at, at, at a high. And shooting from that distance anyway, he does get movement on it, but we was all sitting here, goal smack, really. We, the keeper's got to save that. This level, that like Frank said before, you don't expect to see mistakes that are made like that. And I just hope this kid can actually recover from this. It's going to be tough. He's going to need a lot of people, a lot of support around him from the club, from his close friends and family. And his next couple of months are really important for him that he doesn't go under. Because that's the concern that you've got to have for someone like such a big game. It's around the world. No, 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 normally, keepers, foreign keepers, when, when the ball moves like that, they punch normally it. punch. Yeah. Yeah. Especially him, we've seen yeah. him punch quite a lot. So I'm surprised he's actually even tried to catch it. Yeah, he's gone with like, flat hands. Normally, isn't he? They normally just punch them away. And... Yeah. Who'd want to be a keeper, eh? Situations like that. As a kid, you've got a choice. I just, yeah. I just, if I had a chance again, I wouldn't go anywhere near that. In many ways, that's worse than, say, missing the deciding penalty. penalty in a penalty shootout because anyone can miss. It's not like a massive mistake, yeah. is it? Mm. But no. that in front of the world. Well, this is the end. And fair play to Jordan. He said what should be said after the game. But the truth is, yeah. you work hard all season. You put in performance after performance. You work hard and you get to final. And those two mistakes absolutely cost you on the day. Yeah. And you are, I've been in changes where people have made mistakes, I've made me, and you can feel people looking at you, like, what have you done? And even myself, I've done it, I've looked at people and thought, well, you've contributed there for me losing and missing out on a, on a medal. So it, it does happen, but like, you can't say it out Yeah, here. they won't say it, they'll all think it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, Carius apologised to the fans, didn't he? He went up, I mean, I don't know what well, else I he's supposed he was, to do. I think but... he was very brave doing that, and, you know, as I say, many a keeper had been down the tunnel and in tears, and... You know, for a kid his age to go and take responsibility yeah. for it, you've got to t take your hat off. But yeah. as I say, it doesn't. It, it's going to be painful for him for a long time. Well, you can see you the tears are rolling. There. You don't want to see that. You have to, you know, be sympathetic to people. And um, anyway, let's hear from um, the other side of the story. The winning team, one of their star players, Luka Modric, is with Reshmin Chowdhury. Yeah, wonderful football. Okay, he talked about a dynasty there. Zinedine's a dynasty. We could possibly call it three on the bounce. Something special. Yeah, uh, history. I mean, just just forget all that for one minute about this Madrid team. And just what about Luka Modric's performance today? Yeah. I mean, is is he the best That's midfield player in the world right now? He has to be considered definitely. Yeah. That, that performance today was stunning. He receives the ball in tight areas. He gets pressed by three, four people. He's so calm, collected, cool under pressure. Just it was a joy to watch him today. It was, it was a special performance from him. He it's, it's, it's like he spends 80% of the time, him, him and Cruz, just taking his thing out of the game and moving the other team. And then when they decide the crucial pass that goes forward, puts a bit more pace into the game, they do it. They just dominate possession. And when you're the other team in a final like this, it's quite soul-destroying when you can't get near them. He plays like he's, he's in the park. I mean, he's never bothered. I'll just receive it and I'll move it on. So calm. 
Well, if he was still at Tottenham and Gareth Bale was still at Tottenham, they might have been in this final tonight. It's funny, isn't it? A couple of ex Spurs stars. Yeah, yeah, it's true. But uh, yeah, they, they went on to Pasha's new and they went on to be a, a huge success. And like we were talking about before, Zinedine Zidane is, is producing miracles here, doing things that no one's done previous and setting the benchmark now. And we, we can all talk about other teams being better football teams, the Barcelona team of, of a few years ago. Um, we can talk about teams like that. But these guys, three in a row, in this climate, in today's game, today's format, uh, they have to be considered the best for me. They're right up there, that's for sure. Well, this season might be drawing to a close, but so much to look forward to when we come back after the World Cup. We have every Champions League and Europa League game live and exclusive. 42 Premier League matches exclusively live on BT Sport 1 and in 4K. And we'll have live coverage from every round of the FA Cup. Uh, well, it's time to take a little breather. Um, he might need a big breather, that fellow there. Massively despondent night for Liverpool Football Club. We'll hear from their manager, hopefully, Jurgen Klopp, when we come back. Six final 60 feats uh, in recent times. I mean, everything that could have gone wrong went wrong this evening, didn't it? For yeah. I mean, you can't really blame the manager. I think out of six, this will be the toughest, obviously because it's fresh. But just the way it's happened, you know, it, you know, he's done everything right. The manager, he's prepared his team well throughout the campaign, and he set them up really well from the off tonight. Tactically, they were very good, organised. They looked dangerous. They looked full of energy. He loses his best player, who's been phenomenal all yeah. season. That goes against them, and then. For the keeper to make the two mistakes that he did, I mean, as Jürgen said, it, it wasn't the right the right script. They everything went against Liverpool. That could. I don't think it'd just be Liverpool fans that will be massively distraught because of Mo Salah, but it'd be football fans right around the world because it sounds, from what Jürgen said, that it is a serious injury that will probably rule him out of the World Cup. Yeah, and it's because, and that's he's, a because, real it's, shame. because he's, he's become almost a bit more than a footballer. He's a symbol yeah. for for lots of kids around the world. Yeah. He's he's. He's come from a country that's been crying out for a hero for a long time, for a, a great footballing nation in terms of their history, what they, they love their football. And he's been that talisman. And, and he was going to the World Cup with any hopes of, of, of doing OK, doing well in, this, in the tournament on his shoulders. And it's just disappointing to see his season end like that after yeah. all of the stuff that he's done this I year. I know, it, it, it really is sad. And imagine, I, I can't imagine the feeling in Egypt at the moment either. They'll be very, very worried and concerned. Yeah, I think we're going to put it perfectly. He's a hero. Um, the statesman, they're all voting for him to be in charge there politically. I mean, he's, he carries himself brilliantly, he's humble, he does his stuff on the pitch. And in a moment like that, I mean, he, he's built for these occasions. All great players are, these are their moments. He's very likeable as well, you know, he, you don't just watch a player on, on the pitch, you, you find out what he's like as a guy. You see the interview that Frank, he's humble, um, he's playing with a smile on his face. and. On a stage like this, for it to go wrong like that through injury, it's just so sad for him and you know, everyone connected to Liverpool. What I will say, there's an army to World Cup for injury on the eve of the World Cup and in South Africa, and it is a terrible place to be. You, all the, the, the nastiest thoughts you can imagine, it's the hardest place to be. You think the world's craving on you, that, and you, you know, sit there yeah. you, and you feel like you, you go cold and you just think, like, Who, who's giving me this type of luck? Who, who's, who's looking down and giving me this type of terrible luck? And he will feel like that, and obviously yes, on this stage it's happened as well, but you do get over it. You, yeah, it takes it time. Needs time, doesn't you it? You need time and you will get over it. And again, he's another one who'll need people around him, the arm around the shoulder. But you, you would have had another World Cup to play, or you'd have played in World Cups, whereas you know, yeah, they're, not, the you know, they're not absolutely guaranteed to qualify for another World Cup, Egypt. Yeah. I mean, it's the first one for quite some considerable time. Mm. If, yeah. he, if he stays fit, though, they've got a chance of qualifying yeah, for another point, because yeah. he's, he's such a top exactly player. Good, yeah. OK, uh, well, we, we, we certainly all wish him well, hope for a speedy recovery, and who knows, it might not be as serious as we think. Uh, but overall, uh, it's another great night for Real Madrid, their 13th Champions League triumph. Hopefully we'll hear from one or two of their superstars when we come back. It's been a tough watch for you tonight, Stephen. Yeah, in terms of the mistakes, um, but I, I liked a lot about Liverpool's performance. It's very... Difficult to criticise, I think, the performance. I thought there was a lot of really good performance. I thought Robinson was brilliant tonight. Henderson played well. Liverpool defended well. Um, everything just keeps pointing towards the obvious mistakes, but um, 
Yeah, it's a tough one. As, as a fan and an ex-player, very tough. It certainly is. Uh, let's hear from the winning manager. Zinedine Zidane is with Reshmin Chowdhury. Destiny's time, but uh, three Champions League trophies in succession is uh, really something very special indeed, even for someone as great as Zinedine Zidane was as a footballer. And um, he's, even one of his goals has been challenged. We had a poll not too long ago, of course. We talked about it a little bit earlier that um, we thought this would never be beaten as the best goal, certainly in a Champions League final, if not Champions League history. But tonight, Gareth Bale stepped forward. There's a, another replay of that uh, that's his wonder goal. That, that's yeah. his weak foot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. just, just, uh, I found changing my mind. I'm going back to, to Zidane being the best one. He's weak foot, out of the clouds. Yeah, but come on. But this was, this is, <laughs> is that a gymnast up there? When you go, the way he, oh. he got up for that. They're both great. Let's just marvel at both. Yeah, exactly. Even he can't believe it. I love <laughs> things like this. I love to see reaction of people, yeah. how they react to goals. It's yeah. just like, it just... They go someone, who, someone who could do something like that himself, yeah. but he's still in awe of... Sure Gareth will be sitting there going, that, that's what I've made Zidane do yeah. type thing. Be nice with that. Nice with Looking that. ahead, Frank, who's the most likely challenger, do you think, to Real Madrid? Next season. Well, I, I think now the English clubs are here to stay and they're yeah. improving, they're spending. Um, Manchester City, yeah. Liverpool again, yeah. Manchester United are going to spend. Um, you can never forget that the yeah. Spanish giants, listen, this is such a long way away, I don't know, but I do think the English clubs within the next few years are going to, there's going to be a winner amongst them. What about you, Frank? Are you, are you here to stay with us? We've lost Stephen already, he's <laughs> off to Rangers. Now <laughs> you've been, uh, lots of rumours about Derby County, is this yeah. any truth? Please yeah. don't go, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> it just mean you, Rio. get away from Rio. Yeah, <laughs> no, uh, yeah there's been interest in Derby, I've been speaking with them, and uh, I'm, I'm ambitious and I want to you know, become a manager at some point. Do you think that'll be the right club? Do you think that is well, the it's chance a big, that it's, a, it's a big club. With Big tradition, big yeah. history, which I really like. Um, we'll carry on speaking when I go home, and, and we'll see. Okay. And um, <laughs> your Stein Rangers, exciting times ahead. What three years before you come June, in one of these finals June, in the Champions League? June the first. Can't wait to get yeah. my teeth into it. Don't, okay. don't talk about Champions League. Just the first game. Can we just take a picture of their their hairlines right now, <laughs> and in a year's time come back and just <laughs> see? <laughs> we'll do it after we go on air. We're done. But it's, Stephen, wish you well. Thank Whatever happens, Frank, wish you well. Rio, thanks uh, very I'll much. Be here. As ever. Good, good. I'm glad someone will be. That's it from us at the end of the most extraordinary and thrilling season in Champions League history. One in the end for the third season running by Real Madrid. Good night. <laughs>